just between us. <laughs> this is my new dog. Allison got a therapy dog. Sugar's meant to curb Allison's depression and anxiety. Honestly, I've just been mostly anxious about sugar. I'm no longer thinking about all the other things that worried me. I'm just afraid I'm gonna kill my new best friend. <laughs> Am I gonna kill you? I hope not. Sometimes I say to her, you're gonna be my best friend for the next 13 years. Which is morbid because it puts an end to her life. Every time they come inside, Allison fully wipes her down with a grooming pad. Yeah, it's okay. a wet wipe for dogs. Okay. And I just clean her little feet, and then I clean her little tush, because we all know poop is everywhere. Look guys, I adopted a dog. I'm a saint. I'm using it to help my OCD. I'm a role model. You got a third one? <sighs> I have to admit that the wet wipes probably aren't good for her. <laughs> need to get married anymore. This week's question comes from Jasmine in Colorado. Have you ever been to Colorado? You yes. know where she's been. No, I don't actually. She was adopted. How do you accept that you have small boobs? I'm guessing this question's for me. I actually think that it's a blessing to have small boobs. What are boobs. you What are you doing? I'm just giving the reasons why it might be good to have small boobs. But you have no idea. You've never had small boobs. No, I haven't. You came out of the womb being able to hold up a strapless dress. It's hard to accept that you have small boobs because in the, in the media, have you heard of it? I've heard of the media, yes. They really, you know, gl glorify big breasts. Kind of. Not really. Fashion models have small boobs. Again, you can't relate to this topic. So there are some cons to having big boobs, so I wanted to share those oh, with Jasmine. Oh, tell us how hard it is to just have these luscious lumps that everyone stares at and can't get enough of. I can't wear certain swimsuits. Oh, boo-hoo! Cry all the way to the bank where someone will give you free money because you have big boobs. I think there are a lot of stereotypes you have to combat having big boobs. I also think you're sexualized too young. What if you get big boobs in the fifth grade and you don't even know anything about sex and people are staring at them? You it's didn't know rough. anything about sex in the fifth grade? No, I asked my dad if oral sex meant talking. Uh, sometimes I try to show my neck. You ever heard of the neck as a, as a nice thing? Yeah, like if you're, a, ooh, look at her neck. I once had a guy say he likes my hair up better because then he can look at my neck. So I've been writing that comment for the last few years. There's pros and cons to everything. And I would like to wear a halter top bathing suit. How big are your boobs? Now, interestingly enough, the vet said that she has great nips. I'm the vet sorry, said, what? The vet said that Sugar had really good like when she was neutered, they did a really good job and that's why her nipples are so small. I guess it took me a long time to accept my body because I didn't see that many other bodies. I will say one thing for having sex with women, which is you get to see a bunch of different female bodies. And so eventually you're just like, my shit's normal. Yeah, like there is no normal. Like I saw so few female bodies growing up that like I was like, maybe everything I have is abnormal, but it's not because there is no normal. Right, Shooks? And also, mine are like, mine are super perky, so that's nice. I'm sorry that we sexualized my dog.